Cool. Nice. <laughs> Good game, fellas. Good game. Good game. Thank you. Let's play again. Hello, everybody. I'm a rainbow, and I just got done playing Population One with my Quest Three. I'm recording myself, recording myself. Part of the reason for that is I'm running an experiment on my Quest 3 controller because I found out while I was disassembling one for a video that they have what appears to be or appeared to be the exact same transducer that's in the Quest 2. Look at that. All right, this is, this is the original Quest 2. The size is, is it's exactly the same. That specification, I bet, has not changed. Maybe a different manufacturer. There's different stuff on the bottom. But the, the this is the same. This was a bad one right here that I, I still have. This is a third-party replacement that I bought off of Amazon. I got bags of these guys. Comparing the two transducers, they look identical. The, this one right here is the Quest 3. This is one from the Quest 2. But just because they look identical doesn't mean they are identical. So I needed some way to test. And the only thing I could think to do was put one into a controller. All righty. I have replaced my transducer, the Quest 3 transducer, this guy right here, with one of these third-party transducers to see if they work my guess is the yes and you can tell it's not the original because it's black but uh, we'll try it and see I took one of my spare quest 2 transducers installed it in my controller and went and played pop one and guess what it works just like the original you, that was in here that tells me a couple of things first of all there's already spares out there to replace these transducers that's great news i had to wait almost a year before third-party replacements showed up um, for the original controllers but it's also bad news because it means these are going to drift i'm very interested in what the transducer looks like because i was hoping these quest 3 ones would have the hall magnetic sensors and they look like they have the exact same type that we have in the Quest 2. I did some research on YouTube for videos that dealt with Quest 2 controller drift. When I got over 2 million different views on videos, I stopped counting. That seems like a significant problem and enough of one that Meta should have dealt with this drift problem rather than passing it on to the next generation of Quest. I'm very disappointed because I know they're gonna drift and I'm gonna have to replace these transducers. Good news, they already exist out in the marketplace and you can get them for 10, 15 bucks. Bad news, you're gonna have to deal with drift again, which is just plain annoying. Meta, you could have done better. It looks fracking identical. Oh, Meta, what are you thinking? All right, everybody, I hope this was informative for you. I'm a rainbow. If you liked the video, please don't be shy about hitting that like button. Maybe think about subscribing. Y'all be good. Bye now. Quest, quest, quest 2 transducer and my Quest 3 controller is working just fine. It's okay. Stop being, stop being a weapon hog.